When I was 10, my grandmother was diagnosed with diabetes. And I remember thinking, I've heard of that, but what is it? Well, people with diabetes cannot control their blood sugar levels because they have problems with the hormone insulin. And insulin is really important to our body. It's released to tell the cells to take in sugar from the blood into the cell so it can be converted into energy and it keeps our body going. In some people with diabetes, like my grandmother, they're producing insulin, but their body's not responding. And this is called insulin resistance. Why is this important? Well, in 2014, there were more than 3 million people in the UK with diagnosed diabetes. And this is a long-term chronic disease that can also lead to kidney and heart disease. And key to understanding diabetes is what causes insulin resistance in the first place? Are there any other hormones involved? Well, stress hormones have been implicated in the development of insulin resistance and diabetes. Could stress hormones be a starting point or a cause of insulin resistance? Well, this is the question my PhD is trying to answer. In humans, the stress hormone is called cortisol, and it works by binding to its receptor, the glucocorticoid receptor, or GR. Drugs that block this action are called antagonists. And if we were to give an antagonist drug that blocks GR all over the body, we can improve insulin resistance, but has many negative side effects, nausea, vomiting, and even abortion. So it's not good for general use. But what if we do a more specific targeting so that we have the positive effects, so preventing insulin resistance, and none of the negative? Well, one possible way to do this is by targeting specific organs. For example, the liver, which is usually the first place that develops insulin resistance in the first place. And that's exactly what I've done in my PhD. I gave mice high-fat diets so they became fat and developed insulin resistance. And then I gave them this antagonist drug. And interestingly, we found that it prevented excess weight and more importantly, prevented development of insulin resistance. So my research suggests targeting stress hormone action in the liver can prevent the development of insulin resistance and also possibly diabetes. Are we one step closer to understanding the problem that is diabetes? I really hope we are. Thank you very much for listening.